everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Sunday, June 27, 2021. Time is 6.57 p.m. Yes, Jersey time. Well, we have a very sad story here, and it just reinforces what I say all the time about these well-trained professional heroes who are always out risking our lives. And I've added a new one to it. They're not only risking their lives, they're not protecting certain. What they're doing is they're protecting and serving the government. So for now on, we will be saying another well-trained professional hero out risking our lives as he protects or they protect and serve the government. So this unfortunate story, this is on the New York Post. I'm reading it off the michaelsavage.com website. And it reads as follows. Hero who stopped Colorado gunman shot dead by police in case of mistaken identity. These police with the guns, you gotta take the guns away from them. Enough already, they don't, they're don't. they not safe with guns. I think we've, we've figured that out now. Maybe give them a BB gun. No more big guns for these, for these heroes. So here it is, there's a picture of the guy right there. This is very very sad story. Uh, Colorado police on Friday explained how a heroic bystander who had just shot and killed a cop-hating gunman was himself fatally struck by a responding officer. Johnny Hurley, 40, was shopping in downtown Arveda, a Denver suburb, when he heard Ronald Troike ambush and murder officer Gordon Beasley, who was responding to a call Monday afternoon, officials said. Troy Key, 59, then returned to his truck to grab an AR-15 and was holding it when Hurley, who was carrying a concealed weapon, confronted him and shot him dead, police chief Link Strait said in a video clip posted Friday. But when another officer responded to the scene, he saw Hurley holding the suspect's rifle and tragically mistook the Good Samaritan for the cop killer, fatally shooting him straight straight set. I don't know how to explain this one. How we should talk about this one. Again. Cops in the car. He can't get on the PA and say, put the gun down or else. Again, right to the gun. Violence is their way to solve problems. Shoot first. Get off later. Officer Beasley was responding to a call in the area of old, the Old Town Arvado, and within seconds he was brutally ambushed and murdered by someone who expressed hatred towards police officers, Straight said. Very unfortunate. Police officers do not deserve to be ambushed and shot and killed. Yeah, there's a lot of idiots out there, a lot of stupid cops out there do dumb things and hurt people, that, but that doesn't mean that numbskulls Nut jobs can go out there and kill them. That's not the way we do things. That's not how we fix the policing problem in America. The threat to our officers in our community was stopped by a hero named John Hurley. Straight said Johnny's action can only be described as decisive, courageous, and effective in stopping further loss of life. Well, it didn't stop because the cops. Sh Once again, you know, the problem doesn't start till, till the cops show up. Why is that, people? Why is every time a cop shows up on a situation, it escalates and gets worse? The unarmed cop, the unnamed cop who gunned down Hurley, was placed on administrative leave as an independent law enforcement agency to investigate whether he should be charged with a crime. He should be charged with stupidness. Security footage released by police on Friday shows Trucky running after Beasley in a parking lot and shooting him as two bystanders stand nearby. Roy Troike and his AR-15 locating and running after Officer Beasley before shooting him with the automatic rifle Arveda Police Department. The suspect is then seen returning to his truck to get the AR-15 and walking back towards the street. The footage ends before Hurley confronts the suspect and the shooting deaths of Troy Key and Hurley's are not shown. Well, 
I don't have to tell you people. It's a very tragic story. Do I want to fault the officer for shooting that guy? I, I say I want to. I wasn't there, so this is speculation. I just think, uh, I want to say you showed up and the guy, the, the, the hero, the real hero, not the, the clown with the suit on, the real hero who went up, who saw a situation. This is what a real hero looks like, this kid here who shot the gunman. He's a real hero. He walked into a situation. It wasn't good. He made a decision that this is what needs to be done to stop it. He just, that guy just shot and killed a cop, and here he is, and I've got the gun, and I'm going to shoot this mother effort dead. He's the hero. This is not part of his everyday routine. He's not paid to do this. He's a hero. So will they be lowering the flags for him? Will they be uh, giving him a hero's funeral? Will they be giving him an award? Uh, what will they be doing? I know one of the things that they'll be doing, they'll be paying out to his family another lawsuit caused by cops. So this poor family here, this poor guy, he's a young guy. Look at him right there. Let's not forget this guy. This guy here is a hero, and he was shot dead by one of these wannabe heroes. I'll just close with this. I'm going to go on a limb and say that cop should not have killed him. The cop should have kept the distance until backup showed up. And then, because this guy, this kid here, he wouldn't have pointed a gun at him. He would have put his hands up and dropped everything, cooperate. He's not a criminal. But the cop... You know how it is. Hey, one of the officers got killed. Hey, somebody's going down. You know that's what the story was. One of their cop, one of their gang members got killed, and now somebody's going to go down for it. All right, very sad story. I will put the link in the description. You can read the whole thing yourself. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Till next time, people. My name is Link Strait. I'm the Chief of Police for the Arvada Police Department. I want to share some of the facts as they relate to the terrible tragedy on Monday, June 21st in our community. Being respectful of the ongoing investigation, I feel transparency with our community is critically important. We lost two heroes on June 21st, and we need to respect their memories and their loved ones. Officer Beasley was responding to a call in the area of Old Town, Arvada and within seconds, he was brutally ambushed and murdered by someone who expressed hatred for police officers. The threat to our officers and our community was stopped by a hero named Johnny Hurley. Johnny's actions can only be described as decisive, courageous, and effective in stopping further loss of life. What happened next is equally tragic. A responding Arvada officer encountered Mr. Hurley, who was holding a rifle, and our officer shot him. Our police department, and community's view of Mr. Hurley and his actions are heroic.